Okay, your training eight. Yeah, everybody saw that. Just for funsies. Well, it's not telling me how many people are in, so I guess we'll ask a question and find out. Well, don't cheat. It's not worth going to hell over. Okay, here we go. Ready? Number one. It will not have inversions. This is a root only, root only quiz. Aren't I nice? Sorry, I was on mute. <laughs> <laughs> root only. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I have thirteen votes. I'm going to close the polling. Do you see the responses? It's tangy. You can use your chart if you want. I just can't have another thing on my screen. If you want to use the chart, I'm fine with using the chart. All right, number two. Yes. Go team go. Oh. All right, everybody's voted. Couple of you keep changing your answer. <laughs> Gonna close the polling. <laughs> oh man, everybody's psyching themselves out. Why? Why do you change the answer when you had it right? 
Closing the polling for reals this time. There was a glimmer of hope. John wasn't here to tell us. <laughs> Where is John? I just texted him. Not a good day to miss. All right, number three. Ethan Gong, please tell me you know this one. Woo! I had to hit that so fast before you all second guessed yourself. It's never happened before. Never. Not even with the major, I think. Woo! I yeah. It. Thank God, there's no they, inversions. They can be. Oh taught. my God, that saved my grade so much with no inversions. Oh. <laughs> A screenshot. <laughs> Frame it on the uh, uh, classroom wall whenever we get back to city. The substitute teacher just might be able to do something. All right. Let's see if we can do it again. It's a Christmas miracle in May, April, wherever we are. It's not even July. <laughs> Where are we? Number four. My class just got 100% on the last question. Hmm? Are they getting this one? Yeah. No, they're all over the place on this one. We have three different answers on this one. Closing the polling. Number five. Close the polling. Number six. Closing the polling. 
He wouldn't do two minor sevenths in a row, would he? <laughs> Number seven. Going to close the polling. Ah, oh, lightning doesn't strike the same place twice. I'm in the seventh. I swear that was a trick. No tricks. Tricks are for kids, silly rabbit. All right, we're on number eight. Last call. Oh, yeah, <laughs> he did it. Woo! He changed his answer last second as I was hitting the stop button. I'm like, come on, do it. Yeah, I know. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I was like, you're killing me. You're killing me. Come on. <laughs> mm. Screenshot. All right. On we go. Good job. What are we on? Number nine. Put it back. Quit changing your mind. You got it. All right. I'm gonna close the polling. Good. 
Last one. Put it back. Leave it. <laughs> Closing the polling. How do we do? <laughs> How did you trick us on that seventh chord? I mean, on the... On the, I'm sorry, on the, uh, on the dominant. On the dominant. How'd you make the, how'd you make the dominant sound like the half diminished? That was the first dominant I played. I don't remember the second dominant I played. did way better than what I thought I was going to be doing when I first came yeah. into this because <laughs> I thought they were in version so I was so happy so relieved <laughs> now that John's here should we look at the report yes we know John's been practicing too because he calls me and tells me all the inversions he's doing John hey Dr. B what you got at noon I'm sorry, what was that? What do you have at noon? Uh, nothing. Oh, good. You can come to my class and take this quiz. Okay, sweet. I'll see you at noon then. All right. Um, do, do I have to worry about attendance or anything? No. Okay, sweet. All right, I'll see you at noon. Okay, bye. Where do I want to be? I want to be in reports. You want to be where the people are. <laughs> Dingle hopper. Why? What is the dealio? Are we supposed to guess what note that is? Yeah, what is it? It's an F. I would just constantly wait till Ethan uh, said his answer, and then I'd be like, oh, I totally know that. Okay, this is a little disturbing. You don't want to copy with the person who cheats. Educated guess. Why? Would, would it be horrible if I lost all those scores? <laughs> well, no, that wouldn't be horrible. There it is. Boom. Now we got it. Now we can go to the reports. The average score was 77.69%. Results by participant. 13 out of 13. 9 out of 10. Why did I say 13 out of 13? That's participants. Okay, let's try that again. 100%, 90%, 100%, 100, 90%. 90%. Good job, Titus. 90%. Good Thank job, you. Catherine. 80%, 60%, 40%, 60%. 
seventy percent, fifty percent, eighty percent. You didn't do horrible. What are you giving me a thumbs down for? Andrew, good job. Shouldn't have missed the ones I missed. There's your face. Good, Andrew. All right, this this was encouraging. Yeah? I think we all thought it was going to be inversions, so we were practicing extra hard on those. Well, good. Should we do Such one for inversions just for fun? Maybe we Is should. Is it going to be graded? No. No. Well, it'll be graded, but it won't be graded. Sure. I got to write it up real quick. Content. Seven chords. Ooh. Can I not? Well, it's fine. I'll just do a new one. So what's getting you right now? <coughs> Fully diminished versus half and Thanks. inversions. Yeah, any kind of inversion. <laughs> the half diminished inversions are pretty tough. Minor, major are all right. All right. So how many inversions, how many total seventh chords are there with inversions? Four. 17. Is that right? Oh. We got diminished. We got major root, major first, major second, major third, dominant root, dominant first, dominant second, dominant third, minor root. Minor first, minor second, minor third, half diminished, half diminished first, second, third, right? 17? Sounds right. Which gets hard because I can't give you 17 answers. Well, you could have it like part one where you're like, oh, this is, which one is it? major seventh minor seventh dominant seventh half diminished diminished and then part two is what inversion that'd be hard but you're right i could it's an interesting it thought. would save my grade more <laughs> i don't know that it would i don't know that it'd have any difference well i terrier. could hear what type of chord it is and then I struggle with the inversion. That's but an I interesting think... thought. We get points in uh, in Aurelia for recognizing if it's a major or minor. We could try it. I'm not opposed to trying it. So they give you 50 for the chord and 50 for the inversion. Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, half and half. All right. Should we try it? Anybody want to share any strategies with what's working well with them, what's not? Coming to class. <laughs> Funny how that works. <laughs> Today, I heard the Rocket Man in the uh, minor seventh for the first time, so that was exciting for me. Oh, excellent. I mean, I can have G, but if I didn't have my G code, I'd, I'd probably listen to listen for the leading tone or lack of thereof. But without that cheat code, you wouldn't really understand which one is the leading tone. Or at least to me, they're just a jumble. Yeah, you're, we're not on your level yet, Ethan. One, one of them is closer to Do than the others. Yeah, we know, but we know that on paper, but like it's a struggle to hear that, <laughs> is what we're trying to say. What's 17 times two? Ready to go 34. Excellent, almost done. 
Yeah. Thank you. All right, I got all my questions written. I'm just duplicating them. Do you guys like clickers or not like clickers? Besides the fact that it gives you anxiety, do you like the format? Yes. Oops. I'm saying yes right now because I'm in a good mood because I got a <laughs> all right, decent score. Um, <laughs> but I yeah. missed that one. I'm still mad about it. <laughs> I heard it the second time. Well, I do like them because you do yell occasionally at somebody who's changed their answer and you say, no, go back. <laughs> yes, I have a friend in the chat that I love to yell at. And then the whole class goes crazy and they change their heads. <laughs> All right. Or like you give it inside, you're like, come on, change your answer. And you're like, who are you talking to? You can't say that. <laughs> All right, this is gonna take me just one more second to get these all every other. Oops. What kind of chord, what position, what kind of chord, what position, what kind of chord, what position, what kind of chord, what position is it in? What kind of a chord? Oh, for the love. Sorry, this is harder than I thought. Whoa, where did it go? All right, I've almost got it. Chord position, 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 chord. Ah, uh, 21. Chord position, chord position, chord position, chord position. Chord we're cooking with fire. Here we go. All right. So just for funsies, not for your grade, but we'll show you correct answers and give me a report and all that. Here we go. Nico, your feel good's about to leave. Uh, this was just for great. I got really nervous. Say so again. <laughs> I was super nervous. This was for great, and I was like, I'm not too positive on all the inversions yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one is. Okay. Well, Ethan is, but. Am I in the session? I hope you're in the session. Did you leave the session? Well, I came back in. 
Well, how are you accessing this on the app or online? Online. Do you see the questions? Yeah. Man, I think but it's right. the same thing as the last quiz. The, is that what it was? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's going to look like that for a second. Until the next question happens. All right, here we go. Okay, I am missing two people. I'm missing Jordan. Have you answered yet, Jordan? No. Answer something, even if it's wrong. Just put something in. This is on there Journey Point still? Or? Yeah. Are you my other missing pe person, Titus? There you are. Okay, now Jordan, answer the right thing. <laughs> we did it again. Good job. So this was the correct answer. Now the next question. Oh, this river goes downhill. <laughs> what position is it in? Do you have that uh, list you made somewhere? I do have it somewhere, and it's on files in Canvas, but I can't put one more thing on my screen because my screen is crazy right now. I've got What's Zoom. it called? It's called Seventh Chord something. Well, it just shows the flow chart, not the, um, the list oh, of... Oh, you're talking about the words? The, the songs. Okay, I can share it with you for long enough for you to get a screenshot. Is that cool? Yeah. Hold on. Is this what we're talking about? All right, did you get it? Yes, thank you. Okay. If you hear a seventh, I'm sorry, if you hear a second, you know it can't be root. If you hear a second on the bottom, you know it's what? First inversion? If you hear the second in the middle, it's second inversion. If you hear the second on the top, it's third inversion. Did I say that right? Okay, let me say that again. You have first and third backwards. Okay, sorry. If there is a, if there is no second, you're in root. If the second's on the top, you're in first inversion. If the second's in the middle, you're in second inversion. If the second's on the bottom, you're in third inversion. Plane overhead. All right, closing the polling. Seconds on the top.
Is that also the mystery chord? I don't know what the mystery chord is. The no. minor major? Or no. Okay. You're talking about this chord. And we don't do that chord in our yes. in this class. Only Australia does it. I should say what, only Australia, but yeah. What losers do that chord? I hear their toilet water goes the wrong way. All right. I'm glad we did this. I'm learning a lot. All right, I'm going to close the polling. A couple of you mixed that up with a dominant seventh. So I want you to hear the difference because you've done it regularly. Much more dissonant. There's no ray of hope. Some of you, a lot of you, four of you marked it as half diminished. Sorry, which is. Still has that ray of hope. This is as small as the thirds can get. Anything smaller than this is going to be a second. So the next question is mute. Because it's going to be A, right? So everybody mark A really quick. Free points, free points, yay! Gonna close the polling. Ethan, Nico, mark A, free points. They don't want the free points. Hey, 100%. I don't know why I lost my the browser for a second. Uh -huh. It's all right. It just means you didn't get 100% on the quiz for the first time. <laughs> Monumental. I'm so traumatized. <laughs> all right. Whereas now go. that it's done, now I have it back. Missing one vote. There we go. Gonna close the polling. <coughs> it was indeed half diminished. Now we're going to listen for the inversion. Is there a second? If so, where is it?
Where is that second? Mr. Gong, what is going on? There we go. Ooh. Last night I had the strangest dream. Three of you are missing. Two of you are missing. What inversion is it in? Where's the second? Good. To me, the second inversion is the easiest one of the three inversions to hear. The second's right in the middle. Root, first, second, third. All right, this was fun. What did you think of the format it's good yeah. you like it yeah you, like it? Yeah. You, can, you can at least get half credit mm -hmm. yeah there were times when i forgot what i pit the first question and i was at the second part and i was like oh wait and i was like forget it. i'll just do the inversion ah so it makes you think of it different yeah so i mean I mean, which is kind of good because if you forget the if you forget what it was like let's just say it was a major seventh Right, and you went to the next question. And you forgot what you pit. You just listen for the inversion. You're so listening it, for the second. Yeah, and I think it's good. I mean, I think what we're doing is good because um, a lot of people get stressed out trying to worry about. I mean, what what kind uh, what kind of chord it is, and then the inversion. So to break it up just mm -hmm. helps a lot. Interesting. Other feedback. I agree. I think I think separating the the worry from like second guessing that that minor second because i do that a lot too i'll second guess whether it's even root after i i can hear that mm -hmm. second so separating the the chord will make you listen specifically for that yeah minor second which will be good yeah yeah i found it was harder to um distinguish between what type of chord it was with the inversions i mean i i like having it separate so that I don't have to worry about figuring out which one it is and answering what inversion at the same time it is. Mm -hmm. So like that's that was a huge weight, but it was really hard when you had it like I didn't get I don't know half of the uh, chords. Yeah. I felt like so I have to really work on that again. Because we've added the inversions. Yeah. Did it anyone... doesn't sound the same 
Did yeah. anyone like it less? Being separated. All right. Cool. It's nice. Yeah. It's more opportunity to hear the chords. So. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Well, we will either see you tomorrow or Thursday. See you, John, at 12. Thanks, Dr. B. All righty. Thanks, Doc. Yep. Practice quiz. This is not a test, soldier. This is a quiz, but it's an easy quiz. It's only root position seventh course today. Can we do it, Lord? Thank, thank you, Doctor B. You're welcome. It was so awesome, you know that. I saw, uh, I saw your training quiz today, and I was like, "Oh, well, there goes my C." <laughs> <laughs> we hope not. Okay, so. I don't care if you use your flow chart, but I'm not going to put it on the screen because I've got so much stuff on my screen to make this all happen. Is it in files or? It, it was. I believe it is. Yeah. Seventh chord flow chart? Mm hmm. Okay. I'm actually going to print this out really quick if you don't mind. Well, we're going to see how this works. This says that there's nine of us in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, oh, now we're ten. So we should all be here. Yeah? Am I sharing the right screen with you? Do you see all the answer choices? Yeah, we yes. do. I don't want to put any pressure on you, but this morning's class got two questions 100% right. Just saying. You mean two people got 100%? Oh, like three people, I think, got 100% at least. Three. Good for them. Yeah. Congratulations. The average was 77-something. Okay. All right. So we're passing. The morning class is now passing. <laughs> All right. Are you ready to rock? I'm ready to rock. song list on here do you I can give you the song list for one second you have to screenshot it give me one second it's yeah right that here. works it's right here oops go ahead and turn your cameras on if your cameras aren't already on for academic integrity You get the screenshot of the song list so i'm gonna take it down i got mine okay all right are we one of you is not answered All right, closing the polling. You're also not sharing your screen again. What? How mean of me. Now? All right, question number two.
All right, everyone has answered. I'm going to close the polling. Sixty forty split. There's a little ray of hope. All right, number He just left. Huh? He just left. Oh, he's leaving. Who didn't vote? Somebody didn't vote. Steve. There it is. Steve. Woo! 100%! You did it. That's the same one the morning class got. Nice. One down and a few more to go. Well done. I had my finger on that button, waiting for that 10th person to get it before you could second guess yourself and guess it wrong. Woo! Well done. <coughs> All right. All right, I'm gonna close the polling. <laughs> Fully diminished. All right, number five. That's not number five. That. That's number five. Closing the polling. No. No. Oh. Why did you change it? So close, man. Nine out of ten of you had it right. One of you I was trying to get to change their answer. And then one of you 
then one other of you changed your answer. <laughs> Number six. Interesting. I'm missing one vote. So why did that one sound dominant? I don't know. There's dominant. Rock and roll. Okay. I think I hear why, but... You know what always helps me? What's that? Is uh, whenever I hear a minor 7 chord... Or I didn't hear it last time when there was the Rocket Man thing, but on this one, I heard the start of a 2-5-1. Mm-hmm. That's really good, yeah. Yeah, that is really smart. All right, number seven. <laughs> Lightning doesn't strike the same place twice. All right, but it just did last question. <laughs> We didn't get it all 100% though. Number eight. Uh, Don't throw objects. Come on, man. Hey, Rumi, do you know what kind of a chord this is? Non inversions. Seventh chords. Seventh chords. 
Your choices are A, major, B, dominant, C, minor, D, half diminished, or E, fully diminished. That's what two other people have put, and they got it wrong. Major from up. Remember when she dies? I know what we're talking about. <sighs> She's. <laughs> oh, God. I'm such It's a major, major seven. All right, number nine. Missing one vote. Last call. Change your awful answer to something else. Just kidding, don't. Half diminished. Last question. Huh? You know what it's called? What is it? Huh? It's all right. Everybody's got it right so far. It's the train track. I'd buy that. There's two more people that have to answer it right, though. Holy smokes, we did it again. Woo! Good job, class. And roommate. And roommate. What's it called? Fully diminished seventh chord. Nice job. How did my class do with that in the morning? How did your class do? Your class got two right. I can't remember which ones they got right. Let's see. They got two 100% just like you guys. But they got 77. I missed one. It was the uh, diminished one that you played earlier. I missed yeah. like three, I think. Let's see how we did. We got a class average of 72. Sounds like my grade. Oh, <laughs> Hey, we'll take a 72. C's get degrees. They just work for B students. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I have I have A's in almost every other class. And B A's students and work for A students. All right, let's see how we did. Results by participant. We got an 80, 
a 90, good job, a 40, another 80, 100, woo, woo, a 40, a 70, 80, 70, another 100, woo, a 50, and a 70. What did I get? I don't really care about being outed, if it's bad. You got a 70. Oh, well, okay, it's a C. So you only missed three. Yeah. Good. You want, I thought guess I missed what? Like four. They were minor sevenths that you're having a hard time hearing. Yeah. One hundred. Yeah. Woo woo. Nice job. Okay, so what I want to do now is this I want to do another quiz, but it won't count for grades. I just want to have an experience putting the inversions in. And what we've done is we've separated the questions into two. So the first question is which one of the five is it? And then the second one is, which one of the f inversions is it? There's four inversions? I thought there was, oh, because well, there's root. Root, first, second, and third. Yeah. So we're dividing the question into double, basically double points, so you can get half credit. And I just want to see what you think of the format. How, if you like it or don't like it, just looking for some feedback. I think it, it's going to make you listen to things different. I'm just curious what you think of it. So we're going to run that real quick. I actually think that's a really good idea. I haven't even taken it, taken the quiz yet, and I can tell you that'll probably work better for me. Uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully. So let me change the quiz real quick to seventh chords with inversions. And we're going to go to anywhere polling, start the polling. Some other pleasant news. I got a job interview today nice. at like 345. Thank so you. thank you. That reminds me, I got to print out my resume. All right, here we go. You ready? Same session name or password yeah. or whatever? Yeah, yeah. Are we responding through uh, turning technologies? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't see any inversions on mine. You don't see any what? Inversions. Oh, right. That's the next question. 100% Cong though. Congrats, team. Yeah, you did it again, didn't you? Awesome. So everybody heard that it's a major, major seventh. And then now the question is, oh, I did the wrong thing. <laughs> All right, let's do that again. Let me, I have the wrong. Oops. Let, let me grab it again. Here we go. Okay, can everybody put in the major seventh real quick? Because you all got that right. There we go. Oh yeah, I gotta mark them all right. There we go. Okay, next question is what inversion is it? What position is it in? So remember, if you hear no seconds, you're in root position. If you hear the second on the top, you're in first inversion. If you hear the second in the middle, you're in second inversion. If you hear the second on the bottom, you're in third inversion. Is there a way to be able to discern uh, where the second lies? Listen for it. Listen for the grinding. Did you say top over there? You weren't talking to me. She's so
Did you answer my question? What? Where's the second? What? Where's the second? Get a degree in this, son. Okay, who didn't vote? I'm missing somebody. I'm missing Marissa. She's at the gym. Seconds on the top. First inversion. Inside out. All right, number three. All right, closing the polling. Fully diminished. Which makes this next question freebie points. Because the fully diminished can only be in root position. I didn't know if you wanted me to answer out loud. Yeah, answer, answer root. That's fine. Uh, you're not screen sharing, by the way. I'm not? Nope. Man. Sorry about that. How about now? All right. If you answer in the next two seconds, you get points if you write root. couple of you haven't answered. All right, no points for you. All right, here we go. Who didn't answer? Okay, what position is this? Is it in? Where's the second?
seconds in the middle, yeah? Can you play first inversion? Sure. Here's the third. Go ahead. I, I have to step away really quick, but I'll be right back. Thanks so. for coming. Well, I'm not leaving, leaving. I just have to walk away for a sec. Come again when you can't stay so long or eat so much, as my dad always says. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. All right. <clears throat> oh, let's throw you a curve. See if you can hit my curveball. Okay, gonna close the polling. <clears throat> I got a bunch of you. It's a half diminished. <coughs> I just gave away the answer for the next one. That's all right. Maybe you weren't paying attention. Where's the second? If the second's in the middle, it's second inversion. If the second's on the top, I can't even remember. It's first inversion. If the second's on the bottom, it's third inversion. If there is no second, it's in root. Closing the polling. It's third inversion. It's the second on the bottom. Do we have a song for that one? It's a classical song, but I can't think of it. I think I know what you're talking about. It was like, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Right? Yeah. What is that? Yes, that's it. But I don't know the name of it. I need to call up John Morris and say, yo, what's the song? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's driving me crazy. I looked up in my phone. I'm like, do I have John Morris's phone number? No. No, I don't. I need his number. I need to look it up now. How do you look it up, you know? There's know. actually a place on um, on IMSLP you can go. Has anybody seen this? No. Let's check, see if we can find it. Because <laughs> it would be super cool if we could put this to rest. What's going on? What did I miss? We know a song for half diminished third inversion, but we don't know the name of it. 
So we're going to try, if we can, I wanted to show you this place on IMSLP. Does everybody know IMSLP, first of all? You need to know IMSLP if you don't. Yeah. No, I have not heard of that. IMSLP is a free... Am I sharing my screen with you? No. IMSLP is a free sheet music library that will host anything that's in the public domain. So if it's been published before 1925, it's in the public domain. So you can come here and you can search by composer. That's the easiest way. Go to scores and then go to composer. And then if I want Beethoven, I'm going to go to B-A-Y because B-E-E -E comes after B-A-Y but before B-A-B-E-N. And I'm going to scroll until I find it or I'm going to hit control F and hit Beethoven. So there's page after page after page of pieces by Beethoven. Click on them, print them out for free. Orchestra scores, excerpts, piano sonatas, anything that you want published before 1925. Now, somewhere on this website, there's a way, there used to be a way to find a song by the melody. You think, you think really it'll work. Earworm, should we try it? How do we get there? Now they're showing me gross earworms. Does it even exist anymore? Isn't that like a wedding song? Is it, um, you know what I think it is? I think it's, I think it's Romeo and Juliet by Tchaikovsky. Oh. Um, if anybody was not able to go to Samueli Amide's concert last night. It's on the Division web page, uh, YouTube channel. If you need a concert report, it's a nice less than an hour concert in this cool palace in Italy. All right. Uh, Romeo and Juliet. Don't do it. I found it. I found it. What is it? It's the Wedding March by uh, Mendelssohn. Is it really? Yes. From A Midsummer Night's Dream. Ah. But you said the wedding march, right? Yeah. I don't think you're sharing sound. No, I don't think I am either. Can you throw a link in? Because I don't hear it. The one I found is... um. Let me, let me try to get it. It's from like a compilation, so you'd have to go to a certain time. 
Okay. It's at, um, God, I hope we're thinking of the same thing. Um, it's at 435. What? What are you thinking of then? Hmm. That's a good one though. That's a really good one. Is it still a half diminished chord? Oh, let's look it up. I'm a saboteur. What is it? Well, let's go there. MSLP.org scores, composers, MEL, Felix. Midsummer's Night Dream. When is the wedding march happening in it? Is that a certain is it a certain movement? Uh Tempo di Narcia? I don't know, it's hard to read. Oops. No, come back. I have it. Son of a... Gotta wait 15 more seconds. No. <laughs> How many pages is this thing? 56. Can you do like um, control F? I don't think it's been scanned. Oh. Well, that'll take forever. I'll try to figure it out though. It'll it'll take me a while, but I'll I'll figure it out. Oh, here's a. No, we missed it. All right, well, I'll see y'all either tomorrow or on Thursday, and we'll try to figure out this song. See you, Dr. B. Okay, bye. Bye. Dr. B. See ya. Marissa, do you have a question, or did you just forget me at the gym?